In this tutorial, we'll talk about singleton class. Now, let's see what is singleton class. Uh, singleton basically means it is one. That means you can create only one instance of a class. Let's say I have a class, uh, let's say I have class A. So, uh, if, I, if I want to create an instance of this class, first we have to get a reference. So, we'll say A OBJ or we'll say OBJ1 equal to new A. So, this is your one instance, right? Oh, unfortunately, I have the same name package. Let's say I have a class ABC and here also I have ABC. Now, I'm creating an instance of ABC and this is one instance, right? Let's say if I create one more instance, let's say 2 equal to new ABC. Now, I have created two instances. That means this OBJ will have different values and this OBJ2 will have different values. But what if uh, you want everyone to create only one instance of your class? That means I am not allowed to create second instance. Now, if you are allowing only to create one instance, that means your class is singleton. Now, you will say how to create a singleton class. Uh, the first thing will strike to your mind is there should be some keyword called as singleton. Unfortunately, we don't have any keyword. So, it's, it's not a keyword, but it's a concept. In Java, you can create a singleton class. Now, how? You have to remember some steps. First step. You have to create a static object or static instance of this class. So we'll say uh, ABC OBJ equal to new ABC. Now this is one instance, right? So in class only I'm creating the, its own instance, which is OBJ. Then next step, don't allow user to create a instance with default, default constructor. What I mean by that is, if I create an instance here, it means new ABC, that means I'm calling the constructor, the default constructor, which is by default public. What if, if I define a constructor which is private? So if I define a constructor which is private here, which means now I cannot call this ABC. So this is your second step. Now third step. Now you have to create a method which should be static, which will return the object of instance of ABC and we'll name this as get instance. It's not compulsory to have a method name called a get instance. You can have any name. You can have get object or uh, some sensible name for your method. So we'll say get instance. And what we'll return here is OBJ. That's it. If you follow these three steps, that means you're, create, you're, you're allowing only one instance of your class. Now, how to get instance of a class? Since this get instance method is a static method, we can simply say it is abc. It is abc dot get instance. So at any condition or at any case, I am allowed to create only one instance of this class. So even if I go, if I say obj2 equal to abc, since we cannot say new a b c is because my private my constructor is private. So the only way I can create an instance is abc.getInstance and every time you will be getting the same instance. Simple. So this is the advantage of using singleton class. So again the steps. First create a static instance, create a private constructor and create a static method which is getInstance or any name, uh, any suitable name. Now. Now, why with this why this uh, object to be static is because this get instance is a static method, which is uh, this uh, a static method, and we should return our object, and this object should be static. That's why we are writing static here, and yeah, that's it. This is your instance. Uh, this is your singleton class, and thanks for watching, and do subscribe for further videos.